Yo, what is up? Uh, it's your favorite ping pong blighty boy, I guess. And today's video, as you can tell by the build, this is a blood point build. Now, Blight being the best character for blood points, this build is actually so good. In these add-ons, you get... Okay, we're gonna change up the build a little bit because I tried to do it and, um... It just didn't work, so these add-ons, or, yeah, this add-on and this add-on, we're gonna remove them, just because, uh, speed add-ons are a lot easier to play, and, like, to play better at, and obviously you need to play good to get more blood points, and, um, Blight's power, a good Blight is always gonna be using their power, so it's super easy to get, um, what these add-ons give you, the category, to get it to max, so it's not really that necessary. Uh, but if you're not really a good blight and don't use your power a lot, you can just use those add-ons. Uh, Shadowborn's just there because of comfort. Hexter of the Hunt gives you 10% more blood points for actions in the Hunter category for each token, and you start off with like 5 tokens. However many, um, tones there are in the map you get a token for. Barbecue and Chili, so once you get... Once you hook all four survivors, uh, you get up to a maximum of 100% more blood points. And Distressing, which you get 100% more blood points in the Deviousness category, which Blight is very good in getting. Plus Bloody Party Streamers, 100% more blood points. I'm pretty sure there might be another perk that is good for blood points, but then again, I'm still going to run Shadowborn because it comes for it. Alright, I'm about to play a game, and I'm going to show you how much blood points I get. I have 676 right now. Uh, so I know I played a game after this match, and uh, I didn't show that one in the video. So the one I'm going to show, I started off with 7, 777,000 blood points. So that number is incorrect. Are you... Why are you teabagging? You literally can't even walk to the pallet correctly. Okay. I'm uh, not looping a pallet. kind of weird because I'm a 4.6. Dead hard. No. This game's going a lot better, but it could be going better. Alright, I'm gonna show you the amount of blood points you can get from uh, a lethal rush down, if you haven't been paying attention. So, that's a down right there. You get 300 for the hit, 1000 for the rush down, and then you get a couple more blood points for actually using your power. And then, you also get blood points for um, bumping, um, and just rushing in general. Also forgot to mention that I already got max devious category between two gens and three hooks. Which just shows you that you don't really need to play um blight perfectly, just like rush and you can just get max deviousness. Uh you obviously need to sacrifice a lot of survivors though to get more sacrifice category, hunter category, etc. But you just need to use your power in order to get max blood points. Okay. Yeah, so we're already at max deviousness. So, those adults are really not necessary. Right, that hex is like... Very exposed. I know. I'll just get the three points from this. Oh, I sunk too late. My bad. That Max Hunter.
Provided they haven't cleansed that totem yet. Obviously this game isn't going like a normal white game, this is like going a lot more fairer. I can see you waiting at the tower. Destruction points? You also get destruction points? Well not destruction points, but like the same category? Uh, for hits. Please come back to this colony. They had this pallet, thank you. Oh my god. Beautiful. Yep, I have max uh, hunter points now. Max devious points. Now all we need is the destruction points and more sacrifice. Which sacrifice we can just get by, you know, sacrificing. Just for the sake of the experiment, let's destroy every breakable wall in main going. So we can see the max point that will give us. I think that should be all of them. Okay, yeah. Alright, I need to make sure they don't complete the gen. Just because I need... I can't have them escape. I need to stop and close. So. Alright. Oh, damn it, I, I needed to break that gen. Alright, oh, uh, let me wait for my rush to recharge. Oh, fuck, they had full guard! And we have max destruction now. Oh, let's quickly hook this person. Oh no. What? That's so sad to her. Oh my god, I, I'm, I, I apologize, but like, it's for science. Alright. 
and the max everything. Oh, there, there was one. Right there. Okay, there's a pallet here. It doesn't matter, we already got the max. So I started with 777,000 blood points, and now I ended up with 905,000 blood points. So I got 96 from the match, but with all the perks I had, it increased it by 100% from barbecue, 100% from the offering, and like a couple more in the hunter category with thrill of the hunt, and deviousness category with distressing, which just shows you how you can get almost 150,000 blood points in one game by yourself and if survivors bring other offerings such as bloody party streamers you can also get even more blood points so you can get up to 128,000 blood points by yourself Good. <laughs> all right well i hope you enjoyed this video uh i hope uh, you play blight now even though they're gonna fucking nerf them to the ground and yeah, I hope you get fucking rich.